when I was a little kid back in Jamaica, I had a big dream. I wanted to be an Olympic medalist. And I didn't care what kind of medal it was, whether it was gold, silver, bronze, even copper or, sil or, or zinc. I just didn't care. I just wanted to win a medal. I just wanted to make it to the Olympics and win a medal. Um, but I knew that in order for me to make it to the Olympic Games, I would have to create uh, some strategies. Um, so I created three goals, um, three goals pursuing my Olympic dream. My first goal was very simple, was very unique. Um, not many people have that as a goal. I wanted to be on TV. But I knew that in order for, that to, for me to accomplish that, I had to do the necessary things that I need to do, which is to compete at various track meets. Coming from a poor background like I did, my mom is mute. Um, she had nine children. Um, so life wasn't that easy. Life was tough. I remember going when attending high school, I had to, um, to as we would say in Jamaica, boom ride. Um, didn't have the, the money to really take charter transportation like many other students. Um, but nevertheless, I, I kept going to school, getting right here and there to attend school. But eventually I got a scholarship and I went to Blaine Junior College in Texas. Um, and that was when, that was something that drive me to my second goal. My second goal was to run in the Olympics. I remember I had to um, train twice twice a day when everybody else training once a day. I had to get up early in the morning and do a, a workout in the morning and then go back in the evening to work out with the team. And I do that because I was behind based on the standard of the junior college. Um, most of the kids were running up to par because they came in one semester earlier and so they were way ahead of, of me um, and my, my competitive level. So in the pursuit of my second goal, I was, I was able to compete up to par with the other athletes because I was training twice per day. Um, so I was able to maintain my scholarship, my athletic scholarship. I also was able to get invited by the Jamaica delegation for um, for the Jamaica uh, Olympic trials in 1992. But getting invited was one thing, but getting there was another. I was in school, I was a college student, so I didn't have any money. I didn't have any money, but uh, my high school coach uh, heard about it, that I was invited and I was having difficulty to come home. So he purchased my ticket. He purchased my ticket to come home for the trial because he had confidence in my athletic abilities. Um, so I got my ticket to go to attend the trials and normally when you go into the trials you would go down a few days earlier but getting to the airport was another challenge for me. I didn't have a right to get to the airport on the day when I'm supposed to depart so I had the only ride I could get was the day before departure and on that day I had to take the ride because I didn't have a choice. I took the ride to the airport and I slept in the airport um, and then uh, I flew out the following day to the Jamaica trials. At the trials, um, normally in the, in, the, in the 400 meters, they would pick enough, they would pick up to six athletes uh, for the Olympic Games. Um, six athletes and I was able to make it, I came third. So I was able to make it to the Olympic Games, which was held in Barcelona, Spain. And I was able to run the 400 meters and I made it to the second round in the 400 meter. But then they have uh, four rounds. You have the heats, the quarterfinals, the semifinals and the finals. And I was able to make it to the quarterfinal in the 400 meter. 
and that was my first time representing Jamaica. And I was able to run the 4x4 relay. Of course, in that event, we were disqualified uh, because one of the athletes stepped on the lane four times, and so that was ground for disqualification. Now, I had accomplished two goals pursuing my dream. Again, my dream was also my third goal. I wanted to win an Olympic medal. Again, I didn't care what kind it was, whether it was gold, silver, bronze, cup or zinc. I just wanted to win a medal. And the athletes at that time were getting faster. They were getting faster. They had better technology. They have better nutrition. Um, so they were more uh, in tune with the sports. And I didn't have much time because I was getting older. So I knew in order for me to win my Olympic medal and accomplish my dream, I would have to do that and do that quickly. I had to have better focus. I have to eat right, I have to get rest, I have to train hard. I have to drop some friends because they were not in line with my, my goal. They weren't able to see my vision. And so I had to drop those, uh, those friends and, you know, in order to achieve my my one dream. So I had to make a decision before, uh, a couple of months before going down for the trials. I had a, my last semester in college to graduate and I had to make a decision. Do I stay in college and be the first in my family to graduate with a college degree or do I take off and go home and pursue my dream? And I do what a lot of you would do. I'm sure a lot of you would do the same thing I did. I took off that last semester and I went home and I trained solely for the Olympic Games, which was held in Atlanta in 1996. I went home for the trials and at the trials, they're taking six athletes to the Games. And I came sixth. I was the last qualifier for the 400 and the 4x4 relay. I went to the Olympics um, in Atlanta 1996 and I was able to run on the 4x4 relay team which we took bronze. So I was able to accomplish my my dream. So I, my, my first goal was I wanted to be on TV. I was able to accomplish that. I wanted to run in the Olympics and I was able to accomplish that. And I was able to achieve my, my dream, which was winning an Olympic medal.